when you come up with excuses for why other people are successful and you're not. That sh is f dangerous. Like life itself is a process of becoming, a part of man's ongoing historical drive to manifest his consciousness outside of his mind, in front of his eyes. Listen to me, if it was easy, everybody would do it. There are people right now who are working who don't want to work. There are people who hate their jobs, but they keep getting up to do it. As a matter of fact, you always make sure you take your annual average vaccine because you never, ever, ever want to catch the disease of average. You got to be totally committed. Everybody agree? You got to be completely uncertain. You want a million dollars? You want two million dollars? You want five million dollars? How much money do you want? How much success do you want? How much notoriety do you want? You want a New York Times bestseller? Why can't you have everything? Oh, but I'm 65. So what? Man, Colonel, Colonel Harlan Sanders made all his money after he was 65 years old. He wasted the first 64 years. I wish I could tell you 70% is enough, but it's not going to happen. So I need you to understand something. You can have it if you want it. But the bigger the dream, the harder the grind. You, we didn't grow up uh, with the sense that where we were was where we were going to be. You know, we grew up with the sense that where we were almost didn't matter because we were that, becoming we were becoming right. something great. Changing is not easy. But changing your life, changing habits reinventing yourself picking yourself up after life has knocked you flat on your back i've got to say when life knocked you down try and land on your back because if you can look up you can get up well i think the one thing that discipline definitely does help you with is it it helps you get things done and when you get things done when you you, you actually do things you 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 have more success if you have more success, and sometimes a big part of success is just not being lazy and just doing it. Whenever things don't go to plan, whenever life throws us challenges and hardship, there's always a hidden blessing and always a strong lesson. If you want life to change, you got to change. If you want life to be better, you've got to get better. It's the only way it happens. And luck will show up for people and it'll leave them. But if you're constantly improving who you are and what you give, game over. So that means you understand that at times you will feel pain. At times you will not be comfortable. At times you will mentally hurt. At times you will be physically exhausted. But it's those times that will catapult you to heights you never thought you would see. It's those times that will propel you to successes you never thought you could achieve. It's those times that will launch you into a stratosphere that only few ever reach. It's those times that will thrust you into an orbit that most will deem impossible. What I recognize now is that my choice to in every way, in every example, in every experience, to do the right thing. Success at anything will always come down to this, focus and effort, and we control both. Remember, this is the grind, the battle royale between you and your mind, your body and the devil on your shoulder is telling you that this is just a game. This is just a waste of time. Your opponents are stronger than you. I, I tell people all the time, like, don't just come up with things you want to learn, because guess what? We want to learn everything. By human build, we are curious animals. We're deathly curious. I mean, we are literally the curiosity killed the cat sort of society right now. Everyone wants to learn 50 new things immediately, but no one ever learns anything. Why? Because it's not real for them. It's a transient desire. And that's it, that's the secret. If you really want to do something in your life, if you really want to be great, if you want to smash it, if you want to be remember the key is to acquire as many skills as you can because everything that you bring into your world gives you an exponentially greater chance 
of winning, of doing the thing that you want to do, but you have to be totally focused and committed on gaining those skills. How much time do you have left? How much time do you have left? When you start thinking about that, we don't know. Most of us don't use the stuff that we have brought into the universe. Stop wasting valuable time. If you want something, you have got to be relentless. You have to know what you want of your life before you become a master learner. Until I know what I want my life to be about, what I want to experience on a daily basis, what do I want my dreams to be, who I want to be, I don't know what to learn. I'm just going to be curious about things and I'll dabble in them. But that path to real true mastery is that part where we say, okay, what do I want my life to be about? Now let me develop the knowledge, the skills, the competencies, the capabilities to build into that life. You've got to learn how to become resourceful. You've got to learn how to become creative. The power to hold on in spite of everything. The power to endure. This is the winner's quality. The hunger, the ability to face defeat again and again without giving up. On the other side of endurance, on the other side of outlasting everybody else, is a skill set that makes you unstoppable. We bought into this, this complete falsehood that at some point you're gonna have the courage, at some point you're gonna have the confidence, and it's total bullshit, frankly. I don't, are we allowed to swear on this Absolutely. show? Absolutely. Okay, um, it's, it's complete garbage. And so there are so many people in the world, and, and, and you know, you may be watching this right now, and you have these incredible ideas, and what you think is missing is motivation. And that's not true. Because the way that our minds are wired, and the fact about human beings, is that we are not designed to do things that are uncomfortable, or scary, or difficult. Our brains are designed to protect us from those things because our brains are trying to keep us alive. And in order to change, in order to build a business, in order to be the best parent, the best spouse, to do all those things that you know you wanna do with your life, with your work, with your dreams, you're gonna have to do things that are difficult, uncertain, or scary, which sets up this problem for all of us. You're never gonna feel like it. Motivation's garbage. You, you only feel motivated to do the things that are easy, right? What do you think that is? Oh, I know exactly why that is. Because I, I, I've studied this so much because for me, one of the hardest things to figure out was why is it so hard to do the little things that would improve my life? And what I've come to realize, and what we'll talk a lot about today, is that the way that our minds are designed is our minds are designed to stop you at all costs from doing anything that might hurt you. Mm -hmm. And the way that, 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 that this all happens is it all starts with something super subtle that none of us ever catch. And that is with this habit that all of us have that nobody's talking about. We all have a habit of hesitating. Mm. We have an idea, you're sitting in a meeting, you have this incredible idea, and instead of just, you know, saying it, you stop and you hesitate. Now what none of us realize is that when you hesitate, just that moment, that micro moment, that small hesitation, it sends a stress signal to your brain. It wakes your brain up and your brain all of a sudden goes, oh, oh wait a minute, wait, 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 why is he hesitating? He didn't hesitate when he put on his killer spiky sneakers. <laughs> he didn't hesitate with the uh, really cool track pants. He didn't hesitate with the NASA t-shirt. Now he's hesitating to talk, something must be up. Mm -hmm. So then your brain goes to work to protect you. It has a million different ways to protect you. One of them is called the spotlight effect. It's a known phenomenon where your brain magnifies risk. Why? To pull you away from something that it perceives to be a problem. Mm -hmm. And so, you can truly trace every single problem or complaint in your life to silence and hesitation. Those are decisions. And what I do and what's changed my life is waking up and realizing that motivation's garbage. I'm never gonna feel like doing the things that are tough or difficult or uncertain or scary or new. So I need to stop waiting until I feel like it. And number two, I am one decision away 
from a totally different marriage, a totally different life, a totally different job, a totally different income, a totally different uh, relationship with my kids. Not like one decision I'm divorcing you in, in the marriage example, but one decision on, you know, you could be having a conversation with your spouse and you feel your emotions rise up and within a tiny window, those emotions can take over and can impact how your marriage goes. Or you can learn how to take control of that micro moment and make a decision to act in a way that actually shifts your marriage. Your life comes down to your decisions. And if you change your decisions, you will change everything.